What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamacy here, and today we're going to be talking about lower cross runs and just super chest drop patterns a little bit in general. I want to kind of give a rundown of the fastest way to get the runes in the game, how it works, and then at the same time just let you understand uh, these sorts of super chest overall because I think some people still have con some confusion around it. And even after this video, you still might have some confusion. I mean, that just might happen. But hopefully this will at least give you some information. So, first off, a super chest is one of the chests that looks the same, right? So I'm actually going to take you to one right now. It's not the sparkly chest, right? It's not that chest that you see in, you know, I mean, there's a lot of areas that have them where it's sparkling and all of that. No, a super chest is literally just, it looks like a regular chest, okay? So you just have to know that it's a super chest. And that's a little bit silly and a little bit dumb, unfortunately, um, but that's just how it works in the game. And why these chests are super chest is they can just drop tons and tons of items. As you can see, all sorts of items can be dropped there. Here's another one. Here's another one. Right. And, of course, the beauty with these chests is they have really good chances for dropping things like, you know, nice high runes and stuff like that. Again, this is going to be the easiest, um, like, way to get yourself burr rune and these high runes and stuff of the like. Uh, so that is, those are just super chests right there in general. And I have a whole video on chests that dives into all of the like math and everything behind every different kind of chest. Because again, you also just have your regular chest, you, which are going to act similar to, you know, just like a corpse or to a hollow log or any of, you know, the skeleton, any of those things, you're going to have that. And then there is the locked variation, which is going to have uh, slightly additional stuff within the locked chest or slightly higher chances, so you can go look at all of that. Again, there's a whole chest video that goes crazy, crazy, crazy with all of this. But what I want to talk about here specifically is um, the LK run right there. So let's first dive into, or second, I guess, at this point, let's dive into uh, the lower crust run now that we have a little bit of an idea. Actually, no. Let's let's drop back one second. I'm going to instead bring up a nice graphic for everybody. This right here will have a little bit more information on super chest drop patterns because I think this is going to be something that will be helpful first, which is how does the super chest work, right? So, Hell Difficulty Super Chest can only drop one of 65,534 different collections of items. So, it's not a random drop when you click on a chest, one of these super chests. Instead, it's going to go through and pick from 1 to 65,534. Once it picks that number, it's going to drop exactly the same items within that. Okay? So it's going to drop, if it picks number one, it will drop arrows, a super mana potion, and light gauntlets. Those are guaranteed, those items to drop together, right? And this is all the way down. And here you can see that 19,756 drops bolts, a gold rune, a cudgel, super healing potion, antidote potion, crown, and gold. So these are going to be guaranteed things that will all drop together. And again, all of these drops, these patterns, you will see. So every time you see somebody be like, I got a burr rune from the lower Kurost or whatever stuff, you can go and look at the different patterns and you'll notice that they, they match up a lot of times because there's not that many burr rune patterns. Okay. Um, so this right here is kind of how it works. Now we can go ahead and take a look at the super chest within these different areas in the game. So act three, including the lower Kuros, which is the most common, these are going to be the patterns. And you'll notice the patterns change between players 1, 3, 5, and 7. So for instance, if you're looking for a low rune specifically, you're going to have the lowest chance, the fewest patterns of a low rune running on player 7. 
However, you have nine chances of a Sir rune right there. You have five chances of an Ohm rune, and two Ohm runes would cube up to a low rune. So, you know, they're still like, okay, well, you know, I could go for the Ohms and try and get it that way, or blah, 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 whatever, right? And this is generally why people are still saying, you know, hunting on player seven is best, right? You could say, if I want a Burr rune, hunting on players five is actually not a terrible idea. Because there's four Burr Rune patterns here versus only two Burr Rune patterns on player seven. But you have nine Sir Rune patterns versus five Sir Rune patterns on players five. And obviously the Sir Runes will cube into a Burr Rune as well. So, you know, if you do the math, it still probably makes more sense to hunt on players five if you're specifically just looking for a Burr Rune right there. Uh, but you will notice you have more Mal runes right here, more Gol runes here, more Ohm runes right there. You do have less Low runes, way more Sir runes, and then a little bit less Burr. So this is kind of, again, um, yeah, you need two Sir runes to make those. So each is worth less and blah, blah, blah. So you have to kind of look at it in that way and you can do all of that math to decide where you want to farm. But again, this is the whole thing of you could say, if I'm just looking for Istruns and I don't care about anything else, running on players three is actually going to be the best way to get these Istruns. Now you could also say go do Countess and stuff, but if I'm just doing LK runs, you know, that, and then I have 12 Maroon uh, patterns as well there, which could be really nice. But again, then you're sacrificing other things. Now, moving forward, we have Act 4 as well, and here you can see the same sorts of patterns in Act 4. And again, if you're looking for a Jaw Rune, there's actually two patterns for Jaw Runes to drop uh, from there. And same with the Cham under Players 3, only 1 and 1 in Player 7, but you do get more Burr Rune chances on Players 5 and Player 7 there. And then additionally, more in these lower areas, like way more Ohm patterns and things. Um, at these lower areas. So here again, you can see in Act 4, you have that. In Act 5, you can actually get a Zod rune uh, from the Super Chest in these areas, and that is for players 7. Um, but again, you have really good jaw rune chances, really good, but 4 out of 65,534 on players 1 and players 3 for any of these Super Chests right here. Um, and then Act 1 and Act 2 as well, you can see Super Chest, and you can see they aren't dropping nearly as well. Um, Vex is the highest that you can get in Act 1. Low is the highest you can get in Act 2. Um, but there's actually really good Ohm chances in the Arcane Sanctuary. So this, again, has some sort of fun idea of like, well, if I really want to target Ohm runes, going to the Arcane Sanctuary and popping all of those chests on top of maybe killing all of the... Uh, um, the like wraiths that fly around, right? The ghosts, because ghosts have increased rune drop chances, could be a really nice way to try and get some some ohms and some of the high runes there. But you are sacking some of these, you know, low and vex, which uh, you would be able to get more of on P7. So again, you know, just interesting stuff. It's just really interesting to note. But let's once again go back to lower Karost right here. And the reason the lower Kurost is so nice is because when we get into the game, we have six chests available to us pretty much immediately. Wherever there is this campfire, there's going to be one chest, two chests here, one chest here. Now, this campfire, this tile, can produce itself twice. So here is a second campfire, and again, we have another chest over here, and that chest right up there. So it's really nice, and again, you can see how many drops you can get from these. It's really nice because you have the ability to get two of these campfires, and you'll want to reset your maps to do that over and over. So it's just a quick, easy way to pop six chests right there, right? So that's kind of a nice thing uh, that you get that you aren't going to get from something like the Arcane Sanctuary, which again isn't terrible, but I have to go like this. Oh, and now I found the summoner. Okay, so I would want to first see where the summoner is. Of course, I first sway it the one time I don't want to. 
But if I want to get to super chest out here, okay, I do that. And now I'm popping these chests. Okay. And now I'm going back. And now I'm going over here. And now I'm popping these chests. Elrin, and now I'm running over here. And again, if you want, you can kill the uh, specters and stuff while you're doing it because they do have decent rune drop chances. So, you know, you can do all that stuff. But, um, yeah, this just takes a lot longer than when I go to the lower Kurost and I go one super chest, two super chest, three super chest, four super chest, five super chest, six super chest, and that's it, right? Now we've crushed it. All the super chests are, are good to go. And so you just get way more for just such speed right there, right? So that's just super nice because again, the speed of being able to iterate through Super just drop patterns, one out of 65,534, being able to open six, 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 over and over and over again. And by the way, this is for unlocked chest. Locked patterns are slightly different. Um, this is just for the unlocked patterns. But locked patterns, you're not gonna get near as often. So if it's like one in five times or something. Uh, so yeah, so this right here just gives you that. And again, if you're looking for, you know, let's say Burr Rune right here, that's two out of 65,534. And then I have the nine right there for the Sirs, where half of those, you know, would, would then be, I'd have to get two of those to get to the Burr, blah, blah, blah. But it means, okay, I need to do, you know, a few thousand of these runs to really get some of the, you know, to be able to get one of these probably. And at the same time, you know, then you also have Lows and Ohms and Vex and Golds and Ist and Mouths and all of these chances for these sorts of runes um, within it. So, with that being said, let me go through the perfect LK run. So first you need to go and set up your map so that you actually have two of these campfires, right? I've got the one right there, and there you can see my two chests and my one chest, and the one right there and the two chests and the one chest. And again, having these close by is going to be much better, okay? Having this close by is going to be much better. If you have one that's like over here and another that's all the way over here on the map or something, you're gonna be spending again way too much time. So resetting your maps until you have the two campfires next to each other is usually a good idea. And the closer they are to the waypoint, the better. For instance, it'd be better if I had one right here and one right here, right? Then I could just go wee and then circle back to the waypoint and be good. And the reason that I wanna do that is because I'm going to want to start in Act 4. And this is because Act 3 has such a long runtime. So I can show you guys this really fast, right? So I go and I, I pop these chests and I look for my runes. And you can also get tons of charms and jewels and all sorts of that stuff while you're out here, which is nice. So I can either quit out right here, join in the game again, and then make this long run all the way to the waypoint, which I could have like harmony or something on my offhand to help that out. Or I can do this, pop my chest, and then just do a quick teleport back, go to act four, and leave the game. And now when I come back into act four, I'm immediately there and I'm ready to go again. And so this is going to be the pattern that you're going to generally want to, to run on right here. Is that, that, there. And then just come on back, go to act four, quit out, get back in. And the faster your load times are, the better this will be. If you're running on really slow load times, it actually generally makes more sense to uh, do it in revert, to, to just stay in act three. And you get a lot of things that can drop, a lot of gold and stuff, and, and the chest will kind of override each other. So you really want to look and see if you have uh, a, a rune that dropped. And one thing that you can do is you can actually telekinesis these and open them while you're holding the alt key. So there I had the alt key held 
And so I get an immediate view of what's dropping out of it. Right? So I can see if there was a quick rune that then goes off the screen. And then I can try and go and look uh, to see if there is that. But like I say, if your load times are really slow, because a lot of times between acts in Diablo 2 Resurrected, the between act load times are just unbearably long. And so if that's the case, um, it'll actually be faster to just quit out right there and join back in and do this run because the time it takes to go back and forth is really a long time. However, there is the video I made about increasing your load times by a thousand percent um, or decreasing, I should say, improving them. Uh, and so that'll be something that'll actually be really beneficial and I would highly recommend using Ort Rune uh, because you definitely want to have improved load times there. It will do a lot for you, I promise. And so once you have those improved load times, then you can come back here and do that. And I will also link that video down below. And so this is just going to be your pattern. This is just going to be your run right here. And again, if you're looking for all of the super chests in all the different areas, um, I'm sure there's going to be, and this is also great places to get, you know, IO runes and Lem runes and all of those runes as well. Lots of Hell runes, Rao runes, gems, jewels. Um, but this is going to be kind of your pattern right here for running. And this is offline, right? Because I do have the map is the exact same. This is offline. And so you say, okay, cool, Mr. Llama, but this doesn't work online because the map resets and it's players one and all of that stuff. And you know what's crazy is this is so efficient and so good at finding stuff that even with players one, and you can see it's definitely lesser drops. It'd be much nicer to jump into like a players two or players five, join a game that has people in it. But even if you're just doing players one, this is still the fastest way to get these runes online. Even if you don't know how many fires you have, it's so much faster to run like this to get those high runes. And this is also why I do like having the uh, auto gold pickup because you can do a quick gold pickup on it before you leave, um, just to double check. But even with that, you can still go and have this super fast run and still have a better chance of getting your runes than doing other ways. Now, I still love things like Travancore runs. They're still really great. They still have a lot of good stuff to them, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you know, cows are still fun and all of these things, but this is still actually the fastest way. And let me see if I have any River of Flame chest. Just, just for looks, there you go. So I do have River of Flame super chest. So those two right there are super chests in the River of Flame. It's actually a really nice spawn next to that waypoint. Makes me kind of want to search those as well. Uh, oh, I guess I closed that. Oh, there it is. Um, so yeah, again, I can look at this and say, okay, here's all my patterns for River of Flame right there. So I've got three burr patterns, four sir, lots of goalist mal, nice ohm patterns as well. Um, that's really nice. So this now incentivizes me to maybe adjust my run because I just happen to have that in such a beautiful spot. That's super close. No one really runs the Act 5 ones, yeah. But now, maybe my run looks like this. Go to River of Flame. Pop one chest. Pop two chest exit out of the game and now I spawn in act four town and I've just added two more chests to my run that also have really nice um, drop chances right there right so I'm glad we made this video because then we got to go find that which is really great <laughs> but but yeah so you can you can uh, mix it and match it a little bit if you want you can you know do some adjustments and all of this but this is going to be your run right this is going to be your bread and butter this is going to be how you can find these high runes really quickly. I mean, almost all of these runes that I have right here have been found from these chests, including all of these mal runes and ist and whatever. And this doesn't count the infinity that I have on my mercenary. Oh wait, I moved it to another mercenary. The infinity that I made, it doesn't count the, um, what else did I make? 
I made something else as well. Um, you know, like I've I've used multiple runes. The grief that I made, etc. Um, I've used multiple high runes already, and I have found almost all of these. The CTA that I made, yeah, all of those runes came from doing this. The Cham rune came from doing uh, Travancol, and I think like one of the Burr runes or something came from doing Travancol as well. But we have found a lot of stuff right there. So highly recommended. Definitely would say, uh, you know, get your LK running like this. And I hope that this helped give you a better sense and idea of just super chest overall. I mean, again, this graphic I think is really, really nice. Uh, really cool because it just gives you good information about where you want to be farming, what you want to be looking for, what players count you want to be on, all of that. So with that being said, thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mwah! Big kisses to you all, and I'll see you guys next time, YouTube. Peace, everybody.